I'm going to be ranking the top five best bio cards at each position right now in NBA 2K23. My team, so the top five best bio point guards, top five best bio shooting guards, small forwards, power forwards, and centers as well. If you guys have no idea what I do mean by a buy now or a buy out card, is going to be any card under 100,000 MT that you can buy as a buy now or a buy out compared to the more expensive cards in the game that go for two, three, four, five hundred thousand MT like Endgames or Victor Wemp and Yama, those cards are considered bids because you have to bid on the cards that go ahead and get them. But basically, these are going to be the top five buy now cards at each position in the game. So point guard, shooting guard, small forward, power forward, and centers as well. So starting here though with the first position is going to be the top five best bio point guards at the number one spot. I think you still got to give it to the out of position Nikola Jokic. He's definitely going to be a buy now card, only around 50,000 MT maybe even a little bit cheaper like 40 to 50k six foot 11 at the point guard position seven foot three wingspan he's still going to give you that top tier size and defense that a lot of people desperately need from their point guard he's a great defender he's got a really good jump shot for that tall of a point guard like the eric paschal base oscar robertson upper on very quick timing is actually a very good jump shot you know even for a tall point guard and then he's got great dribble sigs with the curry size up the john wall escape aim behind the back he's got the quick chop soft one he's got the front clutches so we can slash to the basket be an elite level defender and for a buy now price i would say is the best buy now point guard now coming in at the number two spot is actually going to be the new invincible penny hardaway and i think this card is absolutely amazing especially for being a buy now price he's just under 100k six foot seven at point guard six foot ten wingspan He's an invincible card, so 99 every single stat, almost every single Hall of Fame badge. And then you take a look at his animations, and they actually gave him a top tier jump shot. The D Rose base, John Wall upper on very quick timing. He's got amazing dribble six with the Steve Francis size up, uh, Trey escape, Dame behind the back. He's got great dunk packages and also perfect defensive tendencies. So I think Penny, a really close number two behind Nikola Jokic. And at number three is another very close debate between Penny and Cade. I think Cade and Penny really just comes down to preference and opinion of whose jump shot you like more about very similar point guards and both easily going to be top five bio point guards. Still kind of crazy that Cade and Penny are now by now. I think Cade mainly due to that locker code from the July uh, from July 4th, the 4th of July locker code did drop Cade's price a ton. So these point guards for a buy now price are extremely good in game. At the number four spot, I do have a man Thompson. I think even though he's like super cheap, he's more of like a budget point guard. I still think for a buy now is top five. He's really good at everything on the courts. I think he's got a great jump shot. He's got really good dribble sigs. He's got those end game dunk packages where he's amazing at going to the rim, great at finishing in traffic, and then also does have perfect defensive tendencies and is a very good, a very solid and good defender. So I think it meant Thompson going to be the fourth best budget point guard, fourth best bio point guard at the number five spot. And, you know, to round out the top five, I do think is going to be Anthony Edwards. Now, this is a card that I just personally like a lot. I know a lot of people might not like Anthony Edwards. I think he's a top tier point guard. Once again, for buy now price, only going for about like 70K, 60,000, somewhere in that price range. But these are going to be my top five buy now point guards currently in my team. Now onto the top five best buy now shooting guards. At the number one spot, I do have Danny Granger a really good invincible card i think he can do everything on the court and he's gonna have some really good size and a great player model six foot nine at shooting guard seven foot one wingspan perfect stats almost perfect badges perfect defensive tendencies i love this jump shot one of my new favorite jump shots in the game the kpj base kevin love upper on very quick timing he's got great dribble six he can drive to the basket and yeah, all around, just Danny Granger, one of the best buy now cards in the game. And I do think is the best buy now shooting guard at the number two spot is going to be the hero, Tim Thomas. I've seen a couple of these cards up for a buy now, like maybe like two or three at a time. And he's going to be such a good shooting guard. Six foot 10 at the shooting guard position, seven foot two wingspan. This card's jump shot is still top tier, you know, especially for a six foot 10 two guard. He's got amazing dribble sigs. He's so quick on the court with his uh he's so quick on the court with the ball in his hands. But I do think Tim Thomas gotta be there at number two. At number three, I got Carmelo Anthony, another elite offensive shooting guard. And kind of crazy to see Carmelo, you know, being a buy now price. At least on Xbox, I've seen a couple up for a buy now. He's six foot eight at shooting guard, seven foot wingspan. We know Carmelo's got such a fast jump shot 
pretty much the perfect triple six in the game. If you're looking for an offensive shooting guard for under 100K, Carmelo, Tim Thomas, Granger, those are gonna be your best options. And then if you want a card that's a little bit more cheaper, you do have Tracy McGrady here that's only gonna cost you about like 20K. Since he was in those new T-Mac takeover packs, he's gone down even more in price. Where like he's like 15 to 20k so t-mac for that price is going to be extremely good value six foot eight at shooting guard seven foot two wingspan we know t-mac still got that very easy jump shot to green with the kpj base oscar upper on quick timing he could drive to the basket and be an elite offensive shooting guard once again for that buy now price and then coming in at the number five spot to round out the top five best buyout shooting guards i do think is going to be a really close debate I think there's a couple different cards you probably could give this to. I'm gonna go Grand Hill though, just because of his defense and his size. He's a really good defender. He's great at slashing to the basket. I like his jump shot. Just maybe could use a different, you know, skate, but everything else about this card I think is gonna be top tier. Now going on, now going on to the top five best by now small forwards at the number one spot. You gotta give it to Bull Bull. You know, this card is still amazing for his price, only about 80, 85k maybe a little bit more on some days he's seven foot two at small forward seven foot seven wingspan we know he's going to be a top tier defender with his size and his player model he's got a very knockdown jump shot he's got great dribble six he moves super quick on the court especially for a card that is seven foot two so i think bull bull easily the best by now small forward at the number two spot gotta give it to kevin garnett just because of his size and his defense he's still a top tier defender in the game you know he's six foot eleven at the three seven foot two wingspan He's still amazing on defense, really good player model. He's quick, he's athletic, he's strong. You know, maybe he could use some better de uh, better defensive tendencies, but he's actually got some pretty good animations for offense. He's got a decent release, like he can still score the ball, knock down threes very consistently in the catch and shoot. So I think Kevin Garnett, probably the second best by now small forward. Now for the next spots, I really think the small forward position has kind of dropped off a little bit. Like you look at the by now shooting guards, they're probably a lot better than the buy now small forwards and same thing with the point guards where i feel like the small forward position has kind of been lacking i feel like we haven't really got too many crazy good small forwards in my team recently i could just be wrong but i think like just going off the new cards right if you look from the new set we just got we got shack not a, not a small forward like we got no new cards right in this set right here the end games too there was no small forwards in the set previous to this one if we look at the season eight packs there wasn't really any small forwards in the set as well. You know, Granger, shooting guard, ant point guard, deep book point guard, boogie small forward, our, 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 our boogie power forward, you know, PG shooting guard, D-Rod power forward. I feel like small forward, the small forward position has kind of fallen off a cliff a little bit. I do have big Z at small four. I do have big Z at three for the small four position. And then I got AK and Car Malone. Still really good options, just maybe not as good as some other positions for a buy now price, but these are gonna be my top five best buy now small forwards. Now to go on to the top five best buy now power forwards at the number one spot, I still think you gotta give it to that man, Victor Wembanyama. This card for a buy now price is so top tier at that power forward position. He's seven foot five, eight foot wingspan, one of the best player models in the game. He's a top tier defender, he can knock down threes. It's Wemby. We know how good of a player model he has. At the number two spot, a very similar power forward to Wemby is going to be Taco Fall. He's also seven foot six at power forward, eight foot two wingspan. One of the better player models in the game. One of the best paint mashers. One of the best paint defenders. And just all around a beast on defense. And then at the number three spot, Walker Kessler actually is a buy now one of the only few invincible kind of big buy nows in the game he's going to be a seven foot power forward seven foot four wingspan really good defensive stats he's got a great jump shot with the chris bosh base john wall upper on very quick timing i think that's a really decent jump shot in the catch and shoot so i got walker kessler in here because of his defense and his release at the number three spot at number four and five is going to be cards that are still amazing for their price and that's going to be chris ops porzingis and also the Dark Matter Radiant D-Rob. I mean, D-Rob's still a really good defender. Got the size. Kristaps is seven foot three at power forward, seven foot six wingspan. So these are gonna be my top five best buy now power forwards. Now to go on to the last position, these are gonna be my top five best buyout centers at the number one spot and two. I think you gotta give it to Yao Ming. You can find his Dark Matter Titans version for a buy now. And then you can also find his Galaxy Opal from the Eclipse set. You can find both these Yao Ming cards for under 100k and they're still going to be Yao Ming cards right great player model really good size down low can mash like crazy you know space out the floor when they need to 
and just be a beast down low at the number three spot i do got the next victor weapon yama he's still seven foot five he could play power forward and center at just as good of levels i think he's maybe a little bit better at power forward but i still think he's going to be a top five by now center at the number four spot and five very similar center cards i got mark eden at number four and then i do have ralph sampson at number five both are going to be amazing giant centers that play really good defense and have great player models but yeah guys that's going to be like i said my top five buyout cards at each position in the game currently so my top five buy now point guards top five buy now shooting guards small forwards power forwards and centers as well but let me know in the comment section down below if there's anything you guys would change about my top fives and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace